what's up guys welcome back to the channel and today we're having another video and the title is people who worry too much must watch womb okay the title itself is really 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 exciting so uh, but before anything else if you're new to my youtube channel don't forget to subscribe hit likes and click the bell so that you will notify on my next upload i'm excited for this because i'm also one the worst people. <laughs> so. I like the intro. With those worries though, oftentimes it comes down to perspective. And there's an, a wrong way to look at them and a, and, and a very proper way to look at them. The wrong way to look at them is to say that they don't exist, is to uh, dismiss them, is to pretend like there is nothing to be afraid of is to, you know, to say that there is no concern and there's nothing that we can do about our situation. And what that leads to is a lack of taking our own means to better our situation, as well as a lack of trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The other thing, the other way of looking at this is to keep your worries in perspective. And the saying that I was talking about, uh, there's a, a proverb that I, I really love that uh, worry often gives a small thing a big shadow. Worry often gives a small thing a big shadow. And if you think about the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ where he talked about poverty, and he said ﷺ, whoever uh, wakes up in the night and this dunya, the material world, is their greatest hem, is their greatest worry, Allah will put poverty between his two eyes. And so if you think about an object in front of your two eyes, and if you put it right between your two eyes, the inflated size of those objects, of that object is significant. And um, the saying that, that worry often gives a small thing a big shadow, uh, kind of reminds me of that. Why? Because if you think about the things that are in front of us, uh, when you take a challenge that's ahead of you and you focus on the shadow of that challenge, then you give it too much weight in your life and so you don't bother uh, conquering that obstacle. You don't take the means that are necessary to be able to conquer that, that challenge or that obstacle that lies ahead because you're so worried about the shadow. You always go worst case scenario. You're thinking about uh, things, you know, in a very, in, in a very, um, <clears throat> you know, in, in a very troubling way in which you, you assign greater weight to your challenges. Now, how do we deal with that? Okay. If you think about the beauty of the simple words, Allahu Akbar, God is greater. God is greater. Allahu Akbar min hamik. Allah is greater than your worries. Allahu Akbar min huznik. Allah is greater than your grief. Allah is greater than your obstacles. Allah is greater than your ease. Allah is greater than all of those things. And the way that we say that every single time not, not just when we start our prayers, but every motion that we make in prayer, we remind ourselves, Allahu Akbar, God is greater. And we constantly say that throughout the day. What that does is instead of the shadow of the concern and the challenge that lies ahead, it minimizes the shadow and it causes you to focus on the enormity of Allah's all-encompassing greatness. Allah's greatness encompasses all things, encompasses the heavens and the earth. The obstacle that's ahead of you, while it may be an obstacle, doesn't need to be given a shadow. Focus on the size of that obstacle. And as big as you think the obstacle is, remember Allahu Akbar, God is greater than that obstacle. And this is something that we <clears throat> often will remind ourselves of when you're talking about an enemy or someone that oppresses you or someone that harms you, right? فَلَا تَخْشَوْهُمْ وَخْشَوْنِي Don't fear them, fear me, you know? If Allah, if God is with you, who can be against you, right? So we often think about this in terms of putting our enemies in perspective, that God is greater than our enemies. God is greater than those who persecute. God is greater than those dictators and those oppressors and those that harm. But what happens when you remove the personification of that enemy, of that challenge, and you still see it in the same light? Don't fear it, fear him. Don't be intimidated by it, but instead focus on him right? This cannot defeat you. This cannot overcome you. Allah can overcome it. You can overcome it with your Lord, with your trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So take the means, 
And this is that balance that we constantly speak of. Do what you have to do to overcome that obstacle, but don't give it a greater shadow than it actually has. And don't forget the greatness of your Lord that would allow you to conquer that obstacle no matter what, right? So, فَلَا تَخْشَوْهُمْ وَخْشَوْنِي Don't worry about them, worry about me. Don't worry about it, worry about me. Focus on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah can help us overcome anything that's ahead of us. And yes, these challenges are legitimate. The things that we're going to face as individuals, obviously with, 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 uh, with varying degrees, are going to be significant. But Allah is greater than whatever challenge lies ahead. Minimize the shadow, focus on Allah's greatness. Minimize the fear of it, focus on the greatness of Him. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to allow us to be amongst those that truly put our trust in Him and to allow us to conquer whatever challenges lie ahead. We ask Him not to leave us to ourselves. For when we are left to ourselves, then we will be defeated even by the smallest thing in front of us. But instead to be with us so that we can defeat and overcome even things that appear to be greater than us with His greatness subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahumma ameen. Jazakumullah khairan. Okay guys, there you go. God is greater if you are worried about. That's really true. I agree for that. So so guys, thank you so much for watching until the end of this video. I like this video, very inspiring. So uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and give us a thumbs up. And also click the bell so that you will notify on my next upload. So I'll see you guys on my next upload. Bye everybody.